this uh, video is the second video on the operational uh, amplifiers. Uh, this uh, video covers uh, linear and uh, other uh, basic applications of the op amps. The linear circuits or the linear operation amplifier circuit have the same shape of the input and the output uh, signals and the, the output never goes into saturation. These circuits are uh, like inverting amplifier, non-inverting amplifier or differential amplifier. Other basic operation amplifier circuits are uh, like, uh, 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 like logarith logarithmic amplifier, precision rectifier, integrator, etc. Uh, to illustrate uh, the analysis of the operation amplifier circuits, uh, we have taken up uh, some simple circuits for analysis so that uh, you can become more uh, competent to solve any new problem on the operation amplifiers and we have tried to make the presentation as simple as possible so that uh, understanding is not a difficult. So the first circuit which is considered here is the circuit of inverting amplifier. This circuit consists of a input resistance R1 and the feedback resistance RF and uh, input is applied at the inverting input that's why it's said to be inverting amplifier and uh, we'll see uh, for this circuit here the non-inverting input is grounded and uh, since the non-inverting input is grounded and due to concept of virtual ground this point G here will be at the ground potential when G is at the ground potential we can write the current I1 I1 current into the amplifier could be written as Vi minus this is 0 Vi minus 0 over R1 is the current into the resistor R1 then IF is the current the direction is shown in this is here so this IF current could be written as this is 0 volts 0 minus V naught over RF IF current. So this simplifies to minus V naught over RF. If you apply KCL at uh, point G that means current entering the node or leaving the node they are equal. So I1 is equal to IF. So we can uh, uh, substitute here like uh, VI upon R1 is equal to minus V naught upon RF and this gives me the gain of the amplifier. That means this is the gain of the inverting amplifier. Now some more uh, smaller uh, circuits uh, or smaller uh, observations are taken up here. Here the one is uh, how do we find input impedance. Input impedance Ri would be Vi over Vi over the current Vi over R1 so this comes to be R1. R is the input uh, impedance and if I replace uh, this RF by R1 then AV in terms of the voltage gain would be from this formula it would be minus 1 so it's a like an unity gain amplifier but uh, it has the phase inversion here. Then another uh, circuit or another uh, say variation here is a negative scalar where V0 is minus KVI the output is input uh, input volts multiplied by minus k so this is said to be negative uh, scalar. Now uh, we'll see the other circuit like uh, uh, second uh, example taken here of a non-inverting amplifier. In the non-inverting amplifier what we observe here uh, we apply the input at the non-inverting terminal RF and R1 are the resistance this 
uh, terminal is ground, this point is grounded here. You can again uh, uh, apply the uh, apply the virtual ground uh, concept and by doing so uh, what we observe here is that the point G here would be at the potential V2. So when the point uh, G is at V2 that's a virtual, virtual ground concept so we can again write the currents this is I1 I1 current would be V2 and this is 0 volts so V2 upon R1 and IF current would be V0 V0 minus VF V0 minus V2 and upon RF and uh, again we apply the KCL here and if we simpli simplify this uh, relation we observe that V0 uh, upon V2 that's uh, voltage gain for the uh, for the uh, non uh, inverting amplifier is uh, is 1 plus RF by R1 in terms of RF by R1 and again uh, we have some uh, derived circuits out of this like a positive scalar V0 is KV2 and this is one of the most very important circuit that's said to be a voltage follower that means when R1 is taken as infinite so like open and RF is taken as um, R1 is taken as infinite so open and RF is 0 means shorted and the circuit uh, becomes a voltage follower and here the output AV is 1 that means the output is equal to the input and it is in phase. Now we'll see uh, the third circuit uh, which we call a differential amplifier and this is very important circuit and uh, many a times uh, a good number of problems can come on uh, these differential amplifiers. We'll uh, see here the difference here your input is applied at both the terminals V1 and V2 are the corresponding inputs applied at both the terminals and uh, uh, we can again node G would be at potential V2 with the concept of virtual ground we can find this I1 I1 V1 minus V2 over R1 and you can write equation for V0 V0 would be V2 V0 would be V2 minus IRF so V0 equal V2 and uh, substituting for the value of i and uh, we can uh, just simplify and we get a relation of this kind this relation gives me uh, the gains for both the inputs that means for the uh, non-inverting input the gain is v2 1 plus rf by r1 which we've already seen and this is corresponding gain for the inverting input so this is a case of a differential amplifier now, uh, other uh, simple circuits uh, or uh, uh, basic circuits operation amplifiers uh, which uh, uh, very commonly used are logarithmic amplifier and we are well aware of that the voltage uh, uh, across the diode and the current through the diode and they have the logarithmic relationship and uh, so this uh, relationship IF is equal to IS exponential this is well known to us and if this diode is put in the feedback path of the operation amplifier what we observe here and this current V in and this current IF through feedback path would be the same so we can write here V in over R1 this is V in over R not R1 is equal to IS exponential this is the diode current if I if we substitute this uh, value here uh, the diode current and if we simplify it uh, the relation comes of V0 is equal to minus eta Vt ln Vin over Ris. So what we observe is this is a log function of uh, V0 is a log function of Vin provided the thermal voltage Vt R and I are not constants. So this is the restriction. If it is so then it is a log function. Another important circuit is uh, precision rectifier circuit. Uh, normally the diode rectifiers uh, cannot rectify signals uh, which are smaller than V gamma values so uh, we can use that in the feedback path so that uh, we can uh, uh, design a very sensitive uh, uh, precision rectifier circuit that's why they are said to be precision rectifier. non inverting amplifier improves the sensitivity so what we observe here the diode has been put here in this circuit 
and uh, what we have that D is non-conducting as long as uh, this V dash voltage here is less than V gamma. The diode will not conduct unless this voltage is less than V gamma, the cut-in voltage of the diode. But uh, when V i, this input V i goes by V gamma divided by A naught, because A naught is a very high, then V dash exceeds V gamma. That means with a very small value of V in here, the value of V dash is greater than V gamma. So, whenever this diode is conducting, when the diode is conducting, then uh, it acts like a voltage follower, follower, that means the output is equal to the input here. And uh, when the diode is not conducting, it's open, there is no path from the operation amplifier to the load, then the output would be zero. Now, the another important circuit here is a peak detector circuit, so a little variation uh, to the normal peak detector. Here we observe here uh, capacitors, uh, if I add a capacitor here in this circuit, it will become a peak detector. And the advantage of this peak detector as compared to the dart peak detector is that this is, this can uh, peak detect the smaller signals. So, uh, these are some of the circuits we, we wanted to illustrate. Now, uh, I'm giving uh, uh, some of the uh, other operation amplifier circuits. Uh, these circuits, uh, 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 like, uh, uh, they're well-known circuits like uh, uh, integrator, and that uh, output is uh, min minus 1 over RCVIDT. This, uh, integrates time varying uh, input voltage. So, this is the integrator and this is the corresponding circuit here for the integrator. What we observe is we apply a rectangular pulse here, we get a, we get a ramp. Output and these ramp uh, voltages find uh, very good, very good applications in the, in the oscilloscopes, uh, time based circuits. Differentiator is again it gives the output to the differentiated uh, uh, version of the input and uh, differentiators finds uh, application like if you apply a square wave or a rectangular pulse here we get a spike here generated the output. So these spikes uh, find applications. The advantage of uh, RC differentiator and this differentiator is that since its uh, source uh, resistance is low here at the output of this operation amplifier this can very easily used uh, with the other circuits. The logarithmic amplifier uh, we have already seen. This log logarithmic amplifier instead of diode is using uh, a transistor here in the circuit. Uh, the advantage of this is that uh, here the dynamic range of the input uh, you can get about 9 to 10 decades. Now uh, another circuit is for the summing amplifier. It's a very straightforward circuit. That means uh, its uh, inputs uh, are amplified through their corresponding channels and they are added at the output. Another circuit is a differential amplifier. The circuit diagram is being, in, being given here. The value for R being taken here are the same. And then what uh, we observe here, this circuit is like a subtractor. That means it subtracts the uh, voltages, subtract the two voltages applied. Now, uh, the last circuit here, uh, what we consider is uh, current amplifier. Current amplifier is the last circuit here. It's a very simple circuit having R in the feedback and R is the current. This is also sometimes called, said to be a current to voltage converter and also said to be a transconductance amplifier. It's a very simple circuit, V naught is equal to minus IR. And uh, you can very easily observe here that if the value for R is varied here, you can get a different output voltages for the same value of the input currents. So these have been some of the circuits and the, uh, the sole purpose of describing these, uh, uh, some of the circuits is only to make you converse, and converse with some of the other circuits uh, which may uh, appear for your uh, uh, gate examinations. That's the only purpose. Okay. Thank you.